it's the big Versace for me. Talk about a shoe. I don't care how old I get. I don't care what happens with my fashion sense. These will be passed down to my daughter. So hey, you guys, this is Glamazante and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I'm like extremely excited about today's video. I really am. Just off the simple fact, just because you guys know Libra season was like a big season for me. I turned my big 3-0 um, and I feel like mentally I've just glowed up. Physically, I've glowed up. I feel like shit, even spiritually, I kind of feel like I've glowed up. And I just had the best birthday. This was like one of the best birthdays ever. I think I said this before, but I genuinely like wholeheartedly to date, this was like one of my best birthdays. And I really, really had a great time. I had a dinner party with my friends and family. As you guys know, I'm just giving a brief recap, but if you already watched my Get Ready With Me, you already know. Um, but pretty much I had like a little birthday party, birthday dinner type vibe. And all my friends and family came through and they all gifted me some gifts. I got a lot of gifts. Like, I don't even know how I was able to bring that many gifts back to LA. Like, I had to get a whole new suitcase and everything, child. Like, I had to do the works to get all my shit back to LA. But I am so appreciative of every single gift that I got. Like, I promise you, I appreciate it because nobody has to spend their freaking money on me. Um, and another thing is, I just love all my family and friends that really came, showed up, and showed out for your girl. Period. I ended up getting these shoes. First things first, I ended up getting these shoes. This is the Christian Louboutin Woman's Brown Pool Slides. I thought they were super duper cute and I see they come in like a bunch of different colors. Normally with me, I do wear a size nine in sneakers and then in like heels, I get like a 10. Even in slides, I get a 10, but these fit like really, really good. These are a size 41, I believe. Yeah, these are a size 41. And look at them. First off, the craftsmanship on these looks so good. I love the little spice because sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I'm a type of person I like gaudy items that look like really like a lot going on. But with these, I can appreciate the little trimming of them. And on top of that, like, of course, we got the bloody bottoms. You know, it's gonna have the bloody bottoms, of course. But I like these. These are slides, but they're definitely heavy duty. Um, they seem to be fairly great quality. And I love the fact that she got me brown for like my grown and sexy looks. Cause I do have other slides that are like a bunch of different colors, but do I have a pair of slides that's just like chocolate brown? No, I don't even think I have any chocolate brown shoes. So this was like a really good one. I thought these were super duper dope. And um, they look so bomb on my foot. Like they look really cute. They fit perfectly. Typically sometimes I can wear a 40 or typically sometimes I can wear a 39, but she got me a 41 and they like hit it right on the dot. Like if they was a little bit smaller shot, I wouldn't even been able to fit them. Like, no. So these love them down. I like the way they look on my feet and it's just like a grown and sexy, but it's like not, I'm not gonna say it's a grown and sexy shoe, but I feel like it's a shoe that it's like on my foot, but it doesn't look childish, if that makes sense. So these, definitely was od and i'm not gonna hold y'all most of these items that my family and friends got me are a lot of like sneakers and shoes um i do have a few accessories but predominantly it's gonna be like shoes so i just want to throw that out there to y'all but yeah and i'm looking and these cost about 495 dollars so i'm like ooh, these real cute okay real cute and i got my first little pair of bloody bottoms period this is the lana holographic bucket bag the brand is charles and keith when i was in turkey i had got me a charles and keith bag i just didn't know it was a charles and keith bag i just was like it's so cute but this bag adorable like the ombre color hits and i just love a bucket bag i love the little strings on it so you can actually pull it to be a lot more flatter and tighter. I probably won't ever really wear it this tight. Now the bag actually retails for $109, but not only that, it has like really super fine, really super different accessories. So you have the first strap it comes with is like the bubble strap. I wore this the other day. I went to Pretty Little Thing showroom. Everybody loved it. They kept asking me like, where did you get this bag? And I'm like, yeah, my homegirl got it for me. And then they come with this strap as well. So this is another strap that can be placed on the actual bag. And this one is more like, I guess an everyday wearable type of strap just by, you can see like the quality of it, heavy duty. And then it has also this one, which is like the ombre chain. Now I have seen people 
put the ombre chain on the bag and have that wear paired with the original bubble strap that I have or they have it paired with the other strap but here it is with the ombre chain and I just kind of let it you know hang a little this bag it's cute as hell and it also comes in different colors it has other different little ombre ones on there but i'm so thankful for this bag thank you girl i really appreciate it because it's different um i have a lot of pink things but for me to have something pink paired with something else is always a winner because like i said i never get sick of pink i love pink that's like my favorite color but i can also like pink with other stuff so i like this like this a lot and it's very great quality inside of the bag though it's just fairly empty it's not really any um pocket detailing or anything inside of it so what you see is pretty much what you get but it's so unique and different and i don't know if i would ever just carry it with this strap um because it doesn't i mean it's durable but it doesn't give me that durable it gives me like it's good though for the look so I probably will always just have this and then have it paired with this or like something else, you know, like just to give a little, a little sign, you know, just a little sign. Right, actually, next, I got this from my homegirl, Judge Jet. Um, pretty much with this item, I'm not gonna lie. I think I did a video with her, so I don't know if it's gonna be before this video or after this video, but nonetheless, we did a video together. It'll be on this channel very soon. And she's always on my vlogging channel. That's my girl. Um, she got me some Balenciaga. She got me some Balenciaga, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox these real quick. And with these, I've actually wore these twice already since I've had them. My birthday was on the 17th, and I've worn them like twice, and it's only like the end of October. <laughs> because they're so cute to me, and I am a pink girl. I do like pink. I'm not going to hold you. I do like pink. Now, with these, these are the, this is exactly what the shoe looks like. So let me give y'all the spiel. Okay, so this is what the shoe actually looks like. Y'all know the popular shoe that's out right now is like the Balenciaga Croc boot. So this is like the little Balenciaga Croc slides in a sense. Um, yeah, but them Croc boots, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I be wanting them, but then sometimes I be like, what am I gonna do? What am I really gonna wear with them, to be honest? <laughs> but these ones, oh, if you are a pink girl, these are perfect for you. Now I will say these are a size 39. They are a little tight. They still fit, but they're a little bit tight. So if I was you, I would recommend sizing up one size, which is like about a 40. Um, but they still are super duper cute. And I feel like it gives like a little chill vibe, but it's also a little, a little, mm, legally blonde, like a little, like it gives my look a little cutesy, but it go, it just knocks it up a little bit just because it's not a traditional slide. And on top of that, it gives the croc vibes. I love the big base at the back as well. It does have like a little bit of a platform to it. When I did wear these though, they were comfortable. I didn't have any problem with the way they fit my feet. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have no issues. And it's so crazy because my friends buy me designer. When I buy designer items, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I be like a little label hoe. Like I make sure it's plastered all over it. But I can appreciate the fact that with these items, it's like if you know where the vibe is, then you know what the vibe is. If you don't know, then you just kind of don't know. But I definitely thought these were super duper cute. I just wish they were a little, a little bit um smidgen of a bigger butt child you see me i'm gonna rock them regardless as long as my feet ain't hanging off the back i'm gonna put them on oh my god it's the big versace for me it's the big versace for me so let me tell you remember when i told y'all my homegirl jet the one that had ended up getting me the balenciaga um slides girl when i tell you Something that has been on my bucket list is a Versace robe. Like, it's just been a Versace robe. But when I tell you she went and did her big one on me, I'm like, oh, you love me, love me. Because ain't no way. You love me, love me. So let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. So I got me a Versace robe. And here it is, honey. Here it is. So cute. I kind of want to pull it out, but I don't feel like it's really in point in doing so except for i mean i guess it is so with the front of the row first off this is the i love barquette 
barquet robe, the hooded bathrobe. Retails $5.75 and I have pink and blue as well. The arms of the actual robe have the Versace print on them, of course. You see the Versace monogram all over the freaking robe, like you see it. And then on the pockets, it actually has it as well. So I'm like, chill, okay. And then one of my favorite, favorite parts about the robe is the robe, um, what is this called? The robe, the robe tie, like the thing that basically closes the robe. Chill, mm. today, it gave. It really gave, I love the robe, it looks cute. Everybody knows I love robes, I love robes. That's like my favorite thing is to have a robe. So for me to have my first luxury robe and it's always been on my bucket list to have one, I'm so appreciative, bitch. I was like hollering when I seen this robe. If you see me in the blog, you see me putting the robe on, girl, I was scooter scattling all over, bitch. I just thought I was that girl. And I mean, clearly I am, but still. I was like, oh no, I'm in freaking love. Like what the hell, I was, child okay but yeah the robe heavy duty great quality definitely recommend if you're looking for a gift for somebody definitely recommend a robe you never can go wrong with that like who don't want to wear a robe and be in a cutesy stuff and promise you i ain't wore it, wore it yet but when i wear it, wear it y'all gonna know because i'm giving bad bitch energy like i feel like every bitch should have, every bad bitch should have a versace robe like i feel like they should and i feel like with me i always knew i should have one but it was just a matter of i didn't get it but now that i got it bitch, i got it Okay, so yes, definitely love that. Next, next, next. So these I got from my girl, Brittany. Um, Y'all know Brittany is my girl. That, that She always hold me down. Brittany always got, that's my girl. Like, I love Brittany down. These are actually the Dolce & Gabbana mixed leather runners. Um, I've seen like one person have these on. I haven't really seen them be really too trendy over social media, but of course you know i cannot wait to unbox them because i love them they're like so cute so first things first they have the little duster that comes with it of course i'm gonna take both of them out guys i've been doing my little chill vibe i've been on my little chill vibe but i just been wanting something i've been on my chill vibe but i want it to be like chill but you can still tell like girl she got a little cheddar or she cares about the look even though it's like it look like i don't care but it's like she put that shit on for real so with these, I can really appreciate them, number one, because I feel like, <laughs> if I'm not even gonna hold you, they give me like um, that chunky sneaker vibe, like I can just put on with some jeans and then like a little oversized shirt or just not extremely oversized, but just a little bit. Or I could put this on with like my cute little um, varsity jacket and just some shorts. Like I like them because I love the simplicity in them. And with the simplicity, I feel like it's allowing me to really honestly be very versatile with wearing them. Now I want y'all to see it has the little DG on the side of it. So I really like these. They low key remind me of like, um, they low key remind me of like new balances, but just like a bougie version of the new balance. But I do like them a lot. Um, I like the black they have. I love the chunky sole they have with them. And then on the actual shoestrings, they have this. I forgot what these are called, but it's the little thing that helps the shoe. So you can put both laces inside here. So it comes on a one lace, but you can put them both in here. So you don't actually have to tie the shoe. You can have the shoe just sitting. Um, you can have the shoe lace is just kind of in here and that controls it instead of having to tie it. Um, with opening them, this right here is little sheer. This is sheer, so with these, they are a very airy shoe. When I had them on and I was wearing them, like it was air circulating in them because on these outer areas, this is kind of sheer. It's a solid sheer though. Like it's sheer, like I can see through it, but when you're looking at the shoe, it doesn't look sheer. These, I definitely feel like is a pickup. I think they're super duper cute. I think they're very versatile. And I don't have any white sneakers. I don't have any shoes that's like um, high end that are pretty much, I can just kind of a real casual type of high end, except for, though I do have my Alexander McQueen's. I'm not gonna lie, I do have my Alexander McQueen's. But these are about $795. Um, these are a size nine and a half. So I got them in a the nine and a half. Well, she, these are size nine and a half. And she told me that she got herself a pair of these 
because she has the blue, orange, and white ones, but um, she did a size up for me because she said they fit kind of tight. But when I wore the nine and a half, perfect fit. I didn't have any issues. Like it literally was a great fit on me. Um, so I just really appreciate the sneaker. Like I just love it. And I think it's one of them shoes where it's like, I can have a subtle flex on it. Like it looked like, oh, you got a cute fit on, but when you really get into the details of it, you get into the details. And I also have the little, the little Dolce and Gabbana jacket. Oh girl, that's coming in another video. So when y'all see that, that's gonna be a cute, that's a cute combo. Like it's a cute mix. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Cause y'all know I'll be filming OG. So I'm gonna get into like these next three things. Um, these are from my, well, these are a few of the gifts from my boo. She gave me these and then she gave me like some other stuff as well. My actual B-Day. Um, but these are like the three things that she gave me that was like designer related. Um, so first things a first, the Marnie slides. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Marnie slides, but every little it girl I know, they be having them. And I'd say, I feel like now, like I told y'all, I'm more for like a subtle, chill flex. So it definitely goes with the vibe. So let me unbox these. And they say these are the Marnie Blue Fuzzbit, Blue Fuzzbit Loafers in a sense. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But child, just know I got it. Okay, because I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know what I was saying. So these are, when I tell you, so stupid cute, okay? I ended up getting these actually for my, um, of course I got them for my birthday, but I wore them, I wore them on my birthday, extremely OD comfortable, extremely OD comfortable. I'm size 40, this is like calf skin, but they're so cute, I love them so much. They have so many different multiple colors, like a neon pink, um, I believe I've seen yellow, I even seen red ones, but I really, really like them very comfortable they fit very very snug um and i feel like they just elevate the look if i had this on with like let's say my little denim um pants that was like very oversized a cute little top and these very cute because i had it on with like a camo outfit and my little white tee it it just gave such a vibe but i think it is extremely nice um i was looking at it down here because you know i'll always be wondering with like things that have like fur on them or things that have like hair on them how are they gonna do but the way that they have actually curated this um shoe it doesn't go on the ground it literally is like a pinch above the ground if you can see it doesn't technically i'm trying to show y'all this okay so you see how it is the hair doesn't actually go on the ground it's like a little bit above the ground and the way the hair is brushed this way it doesn't hit the floor because i was like that's kind of like you know i love like stuff with skin i love stuff with like hair fur whatever you want to call it but i just was like i don't want no nasty shoe after a while but it wasn't it definitely is a bob and then on the inside it's curated so nice and comfortable um i wore mine actually without socks and then i actually put it on again with socks it was very comfortable and snug both ways my feet wasn't like sweaty nasty or nothing I think that just with the hair, it looks good. But most of the time, people, I have seen them dress this up and make it really trendy. But then I also seen people that just wear this on like they chill. Like one girl, I know she does event planning and she literally had her little fit on and just slipped these on with it. And I think it wasn't supposed to be part of fit, but it still gave a look. So I just love stuff that's like, casual but it has a little bit of an expensive taste feel and it definitely it has a lot of uniqueness to it so with me y'all know i used to run them birkenstocks down to the ground baby and um they're timeless because with these i mean can they really go out of style they're just simplistic slight type loafers you know and i believe these these ones actually are a little bit more pricier they're 850 dollars but i just feel like they're timeless i feel like they're cute like I love them and I actually got something else from Marnie one of my homegirls got me something from there as well and then they come with a little dust bag simplistic dust bag but <sighs> baby I can't lose because when I said my people did a thing they did their thing Marnie slides chef's freaking kiss so uh, next I ended up getting from my love she ended up getting me a pair of rick owens the dark shadow ones um i don't this is my first pair of rick owens I'm not gonna lie i've been fiending and wanting a pair of rick owens for the longest like literally for the longest 
and I finally got them. I like a typical dust bag. It comes like a little shoe bag. Or no, not even a shoe bag. It comes like a little tote bag, you guys see. Um, with Rick Owens, I feel like when I see the girlies have them on, it just make them look cute. They look cool. Um, it's a bump up from the freaking Converse's. Because I'm going to tell you right now, unless Converse come out with some type of OD collection, I'm not wearing no Converse's. I'm just not. I'm not a Converse girl. I used to be, but it give me... Converse's is too freaking... They remind me too much... Converse's remind me too much of old me. And honey, I'm not that bitch no more. <laughs> but these ones are the Rick Owens. Um, the actual ones these are is the Penta Sneaks. And they came in a size 40. And the colors is black and black milk. Clearly it's milk because it's not like, this is not white. It's like a like off-white color. Oh, super duper cute. Like I feel like it just makes any vibe. I feel like these are super duper vibey and they're versatile as hell. I've seen so many people wear like the Rick Owens and I just wanted the classic ones. Cause you know, they got different ones, like different stacks and different types. They have the dark shadow kind. And then they also have the other kind. I cannot remember the name. I should probably call her cause she'll tell me, but I just wanted a pair so bad and I finally got them and I love them. Um, they look like they're big, right? So I was like, telling her, I was like, I don't think they're going to fit. I don't think they're going to fit. But once I tried them on, they fit perfectly. Um, they have a zipper right here to get the shoe on. And then you have the laces that you can just wrap it around. I think that makes it look more cooler, to be honest. And I think that they look great with like a skirt, like a black skirt. Even with this fit, I could wear this on with a black skirt. So I love these um, a lot. And they're super duper comfortable. But they do look a little big, but I think it's the look. So, you know what I mean? I don't like when my shoes are like bolts. I don't like when they look too big at all. So, I really had to make sure like these was OD hidden. But the Rick Owen is pretty much the Rick Owen. But I wanted the classic ones. Glad I got them. Retail value for these. Retail value for these is like $730. Dollars. They have so many different ones on them as well. And then they also have like the big tongue on them. Here's the big tongue. But yeah, I had to get me a pair of Rickies. Cause I'm like, how am I supposed to be out here changing my fashions, changing my style, and ain't got me a pair of Rick Owens? Like, girl, bye. Give me some Rick Owens. Like, that's what I was, <laughs> that's really honestly how I was. Cause I was like, child, I need some Rick Owens. Like, I need me a pair of Rickies. And she got like, 50 pair of Rick Owens. But lately, I'm not gonna cap you. I have been being very intentional on the pieces that I um, buy and the people pieces that I have in my closet now and how they go cohesive with other things. But even with this stuff, I haven't really, I didn't buy this stuff, but it was like, I can definitely appreciate the fact that my family and friends listened to me and they could see from my Instagram which way I was going with my fashion sense in a set. Fashion sense in a statement from my honey bunny i think these shoes is pronounced the levon the thing about me is i will know the brand but i will not know the correct pronunciation that's what i've noticed about myself um but these are the leather curb sneakers they have a lot of different colors but with this particular color i've been seeing everybody have them little baby dream dolls i was like oh i gotta hear and start wearing mine because i got them but i didn't wear them yet so i was like i don't want them to be like old in a sense but i guess it technically really can't be old so she got me these in a size 40. um i believe these were 970 dollars um the biggest thing about them if you guys seen them all over is the big shoestring like everybody loves the big shoestring and i think it's just like it gives me honestly y'all remember back in the day those shoes that was called with the e on the side or the m on the side and they was like big and chunky it gave me them but I like these because I love the color variation. I definitely love the big shoestrings. That's like number one. And then on top of that, I, and then I also love the detailing on the side of them. And this is the kind of shoe that is chunky, but I can still wear it with like slender shoe, a slender leg pant. Right? But then it also has lacing on the inside of the shoe. So it's like under these laces is another set of laces. Um, so these big laces really are, I feel like predominantly just for show. They're not really what's gonna hold the shoe, if that makes sense. But y'all can see the lacing and then it comes with them a little frayed. 
Comes with them a little frayed, but nonetheless, it's a hot girl shoe. Oh my gosh. So this next shoe, next shoe, next caller, next shoe is from my bitch, Six. So y'all know Six is like my best friend. She got me these shoes and she caught me off guard. So y'all know Six lives in Canada. So she's Canadian and the Jennifer Lay or Jennifer Lee brand is in Canada. So I remember telling her, I like I sent her a lot of my fashion S things that I like. So I had sent her... I had sent these shoes to my, my boo at first. And I was like, you like these shoes? And she was like, ah, eh, not really. They cool though. And I sent them six. I'm like, how the hell she don't like these shoes? They fired at me. None unbeknownst to me, six was plotting on me to buy me the shoes. And I did not know. So when she came to my birthday party, um, clearly we stay in the Airbnb together and everything. So I don't know how she was able to even keep this away from me. But literally I was looking at the shoe and I'm like, oh my God. Like I was looking at the box. I was like, I, bitch, I know you did. Cause it was like, I had showed her like two. So I'm like, mm, let me see, let me see. Talk about a shoe. I don't care how old I get. I don't care what happens with my fashion sense. These will be passed down to my daughter. Like they're going to be passed on to my daughter. Like, you know how your mom has that trendy item and it's just like, dang, they made up. Yeah, this going to be that. This going to be that for me. I feel like I love these so much bad i love them so bad like look at them oh my god like look at this shoe i love them now with this it is a hundred percent leather they are mink fur first off let's take a moment for the little diamond rhinestones i can't get over it i'm oozing then number two, I love me a thong shoe. Like I love thong heels. A lot of people don't like them because they're uncomfortable. I love thong heel shoes. Like I'm, I feel like it's the amount of femininity in them. I think I also like the fact that it's like clicky clacking, like flapping. I just love that. And then the pink fur, girl, stop it. Bitch, just stop, just stop. So I am in love with the ultimate shoe. It has a skinny heel love it. I'm very biased because when I put them on, I don't know if they was comfortable or not, but I knew I was wearing them. So it was like, what? I have not actually whipped them out and wore them yet. But when I say I cannot wait, I'm going to make me a pink fur to go with them actually. Like that's how serious this matter is. Like stop it. Stop it. And then also I love the fact that she provides the duster bag. She has two black duster bags with the name of the brand on it, of course. The name of the brand on it, of course. Like, girl. I love, I'm, I'm proud of her brand, though, because I've seen it grow, and I've seen it, like, really take a, a incline, and I love it. Like, this, love it. Like, and I like, and another thing is I noticed with myself is I want to start wearing heels that are a lot more unique. We all can have like black heels and strappy, clear strappy heels, but I want shoes. When you look at my feet, you're like, I ain't never seen that. Or where you get that from? Or girl, that's that shoe off Instagram. Like, I ain't even know where to get it. Like, I want heels like that because I feel like with my heels, they have started to become very basic and I'm not a basic girl. So when I tell you these shoes, I said, bitch, you spoke to my soul. And when I tell you, I love these shoes so much. Six birthday is December the 16th. It is now October the 27th. I've already bought Six's um, birthday gift. Literally already bought it. Cause I was like, bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Like love them shoes. Okay. So next I ended up wanting to show you guys these Kirk Gager shoes. Um, this is my first time actually having a brand. It came from my homegirl Sasha. Um, many of y'all know her as Flaws of Couture. And she got me these, I believe. I hope I'm right. I think so, though. Um, but she got me these super duper cute boots. I love that they have the little flex on it. So it's like a little diamondy look. And on top of that, they're very sleek. I feel like especially when me coming into my new age, it definitely matches me. Um, and they're kind of just like a little side boot. But I love the cute little 
bird on the back of it. And then if you guys can really get into the texture of the boot and flex, but just a simplistic, it's not even simplistic. It's a simplistic style of boot, but I just love the extra little, you know, something because if it was just black, it would just be like, oh, they just black, but no. Now, this is the Barbican, Barbican, Barbican booty. It is retailing for $225. And when I tell you, I put it on my foot and I was like, I wonder what it's going to look like. Girl was so sleek, just nice cash. And it's so crazy. A lot of my friends, I never told them my sizes. So they had to go on my trial hauls for YouTube because where else would they have got it from? But I thought that was just so adorable that they were even thoughtful like that. But yeah, I love this boot. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely different from my normal typical style but i don't hate it um and I, I definitely can actually appreciate the boot and the looks i'm about to serve with this because i'm like i said i'm changing my style i'm doing different things and this isn't something that i would have probably bought myself but i definitely love the style i i I, it isn't something I would have bought myself, but I'm actually glad somebody got it for me because now I can just step into a new territory of booties and boots and heels and stuff. But yeah, it has crystals on it. Now the actual shoe is in a size four. This shoe is actually in a size 40, fits very good. Even though the toe part of it is pretty narrow, it doesn't have like a tight fit on it at all. It's actually pretty um, good. So yes, I can definitely appreciate these, but. I'm really excited because I promise y'all when I started to look, y'all got to tell me how I did because y'all know I be doing my little thing on TikTok and stuff now. So y'all got to definitely give me a heads up on how y'all liked it. I get that. One of my other home girls, my DMV sister, she ended up getting me this bag. Um, it's a Kurt Geiger bag as well. Now this is the Velvet Mini Kingston bag. Um, they're fairly popular if you guys look the bags up, but this one oh, to die for. Of course, it has the little signature bird. I love the little diamonds on it. Okay, this bag is about $195. Definitely a statement bag, very cute. And I think that I'm really appreciating just getting into different brands that I didn't even know about. Y'all would think I would know about so much stuff. I didn't know about it until like my friends tell me or if I see it on Instagram, I'm like, oh, okay, I think that's something I got. And then I realized who the brand is. Cause when I like something, I just like it, but I think this is cute. Like very cute, you open it up, great quality, heavy duty. It comes with its own duster on the inside as well. Yes. And it gives me like a little Chanel. It gives me like the little Chanel style, but of course a way more affordable version. If it actually will match, my um jennifer lay shoes so let me get those real quick because i haven't, haven't put them right beside each other okay uh, now top now the pink on this one does look a little bit brighter but it still can give it's a go it's still giving a look so let me tell you when i actually get to sit down create some fits and make some looks the girls is gonna be over it because let me tell you but if i'm putting you on Definitely check them out. They have different colors in this particular bag as well. They have a green one, a blue one, a black one, a rainbow one. I seen the rainbow one months ago, just never knew what the brand was, but this is the brand. And let me put y'all on just like somebody put me on, but cute, cute as hell. And I feel like it's so fetch. Like it's giving me very fetch, very posh, very mod. Like, oh, uh, so cute, so girly. Um, I'm gonna go into my little sunglasses, more like smaller accessories. So from my babe, she ended up getting me some Christian Dior glasses. This is the Christian Dior, Christian Dior oversized glasses. They retail for $580. Um, and these are them. Okay, these are just some simple bad bitch glasses. And she ain't seen me in these yet. I gotta show her these. But I love me some black shades. And when I tell you the black shades is given, I ain't even took out the price tag yet. That's how cute I think I am. But I love the CD on the side, like can't get away from that. It's like it pinches my nose. It's given, um, they're not really an ombre frame, but they're giving a little bit of ombre tease. I definitely am here for it. I can appreciate it. Like baby, mm. And then it comes with a little case. This is a little CD case. What I was saying with these is like, I can just appreciate the look they give me. Like bitch, they make me look fine as hell. Like 
Chow, it's giving it's, it's it's doing its numbers. Like I feel like it's cute. You see me in a front, you like, ooh, that's cute, that's vibey. Okay, boom. Then I turn to the side. You like, bitch, she got the Dior's on. If you adore her, Dior her. That's why I told my nigga, like, <laughs> if you adore me, Dior me, and you Dior me. I right, come on now, Chow, please. Cause one thing about me, I love a gift. I love a gift. I love a freaking gift. Even if you don't know where to get a person, if you know the type of shades they wear, designer shades or something like that. A girl is gonna love your ass. Like, female nigga too. Like, everybody gonna love you. So next, remember the brand I just showed you guys with the calf skin fur, the blue ones, the Marnie slides? These are the sunglasses for the Marnie brand. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would've never bought these for myself, but the fact that I got them, I love them. I have a brown fit that I wanna wear, and it's gonna give, like, this type vibe, and it's gonna work perfectly with this. Like, look so good. Now with these, I do have a more rounder face, so it does go out just a little. I don't know if you guys can actually tell in the front, I can tell a little bit on the side area, but it's still a very sleek, chic vibe. It almost made me kind of look like a cop. I don't know what part of it, is it this part or is it a straight across part? Something about it is giving me like a little cop vibe, but I like these. I do think they're cute and I definitely think that they're different than my normal style, which I actually love because it's making me play around with different stuff. So you see it, you see it. And with these, they came in the little green Marnie bag, of course, for the sunglasses and it has the little snippet. But like I said, these are, if you have a slender face, they just gonna fall, they gonna just sit on you. But with these, they do go out just a little bit, but it ain't enough that's like, oh my God, I'm looking and checking for you. But I just wanna let you know, if you got a little round apple face like me, yeah, that's what it's gonna be giving. I'll tell you about my mentor though, cause I have a mentor and she's been my mentor since I was in college. And when I tell you she got me my first pair of freaking Cardi's, I would have never bought myself a pair of Cardi's, but I feel like, it's just only right. Now that I got them, I can't see my life without them. Like, every bitch needs a little bit of cardi ass. So look at these. They just give me like bad bitch. Like I'm just sitting back, I'm spectating. It's giving me mob wise. Anytime I ever seen somebody with a pair of cardies, it remind me of a grown woman. Don't play with her and bitch she buy her business and she a little hood and gangster too. Like, do y'all be feeling those vibes with cardi ass? Like, I feel like cash doll, she always got a pair of cardies on. Like, you know, it's just giving that vibe. And I feel like it's so funny because this is definitely my mentor's personality. So the fact that she got them from me, I'm like, bitch, I could just see it. Like, oh my God, these are the ombre frame ones. They are the gold, they have the gold framing. They're the ombre. They're like a dark purple going into clear, but yes. And let me tell you, I appreciate all my friends that didn't get me designer too, because I wear things that are not designer. I'm a high end, low end baddie. Like y'all know me, I mix and matches it, but I definitely wanted to do a high end haul because I just felt like I had so much accumulated stuff and it's like newer stuff. So I was like, why not? But don't get it twisted. I appreciate everybody that got me stuff, even if it wasn't like designer cause I've been using it. Like somebody got me a prayer book. I thought that was so freaking sweet. And I even got like a new notebook as well. So I love those gifts, but I just feel like I love those gifts, so don't ever get that misconstrued to anybody watching my video. But yeah, honey, the quarties, they giving bad bitches. Like, I wanna sit up, I wanna spectate. I'm checking out, make sure everything going good in here. Y'all know Rock from Raising Canaan? It's giving me that. It's giving me Rock from Raising Canaan vibes. Like, what? What was that? Huh? Yeah, that's what it's giving me. So definitely appreciate these, especially with my little slick over. Like, it's just giving. It's just giving, I got a pair of Cartier, stop playing with me. And I put all the details here. Uh, huh, Cause the other stuff I kind of knew about it so I could tell a little about it, but the Cartier and the, the other Marnie side, I'll put it here, but chill. Don't get it misconstrued, bitch. Mm-hmm, yeah. And what about it? Also, you guys, I wanna let you know right now, do not forget, I will be doing a fragrance haul because I got, those are all new fragrances pretty much except for like one. Um, so definitely stay tuned. But yeah, I just wanna thank you guys so much for being tuned in on like one of my first luxury high-end um, hauls. I haven't, I've done some before, but never like this. And I just wanna thank everybody for my birthday that actually gifted me these items. Like y'all know me so well, I appreciate you. Even if I didn't say your name, you know I love you. 
you know I love you. <laughs> like, I really do. And I think that I'm just really excited for this next chapter. My new fashion sense, my new fashion tips, tricks. And let me know if there's any videos that you guys want to see below. Also, definitely stay tuned because I will be doing a fragrance haul very soon because I've gotten so many new fragrances, thankfully, to my friends. And, yeah, so I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Mwah. See ya.